Turning now to the big story, crackdown on crime. The city of Detroit said to create what could be one of the most expansive surveillance camera systems in the country. Mayor Duggan announcing plans to connect traffic light cameras across the city to the Project Greenlight camera system. The move would give police access to a thousand cameras across the city, allowing them to monitor criminal activity in real time. The mayor says it will make criminals think twice. And we want to know, do surveillance cameras make you feel safer? Go to WXYZ.com slash vote and tell us. 7X News reporter Jen Shans is live in downtown Detroit where she talked to Chief Craig about what this all means for the department. Yeah, a new in Allen. Now those traffic cameras like the ones you see behind me will soon be used for real time surveillance through Project Greenlight. Keep in mind that's in addition to cameras at some 500 businesses already. We spoke to staff today here at this PP BP just off 94 in Outer Harbor. They say this system makes them and their customers feel safer. The BP on East Outer Drive, just off 94, has been involved in Project Greenlight for a few years now. Cashier Shante Harris says it's part of the reason she took this job. I would rather Thank go you. to somewhere that has green light than somewhere that doesn't because I feel like even if something were to happen to me, at least, you know, it would be taken care of and the person would be caught. Since 2016, businesses could partner with the city by purchasing the real time surveillance system. Now, traffic cameras will be wired into that system, and police will have more eyes on potential crime. A thousand more eyes, to be exact. And that's not all. We're going to expand it in two of our busier police stations uh, on a more localized neighborhood level. Chief James Craig says the program helped police nab a suspect in an attempted kidnapping in southwest Detroit last week. Uh, and it's making a difference in the city of Detroit. When Greenlight first started, Chief Craig says the out-of-pocket costs to businesses was between six and seven thousand dollars. But he says costs have gone down as the project has grown. Harris says customers are now aware of the surveillance, and she feels that's a good thing. I think they are more conscious of the fact that there is a camera here. So, it, you know, if they're thinking about anything crazy, then it makes them think twice about it. Now, if you're curious where a green light is near you, you can head on to the website. There's a link on WXYZ.com. You can pull it right up on your phone here, just like I've done. And the chief tells us that those lights will be funneled into the green light project system as early as this fall. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Jen Shan, 7 Action News. Yeah, more cameras, the better, right, Jen? Thank you. And for a closer look at the mayor's plan to make Detroit a safer place to live, work, and play, head to our website, WXYZ.com.